Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Uh, today, I am here in Concord, New Hampshire to visit with someone who has done what only other 44 other people have done in life, and that is become president of the United States. Oh, you're here with number 14, Franklin Pierce. Franklin Pierce was considered a Northern Democrat who saw the abolitionist movement as a fundamental, as a fundamental threat to the unity of the nation. He alienated anti-slavery groups by supporting and signing the Kansas-Nebraska Act and enforcing the Fugitive Slave Act, and he failed to, to stem the conflict between the North and South, setting the stage for the Southern Succession and the American Civil War. He did take part in the Mexican-American War as a Brigadier General in the Army. He was, uh, he was really considered, uh, let's see, he led a failed attempt to acquire Cuba from Spain. Can you imagine if he succeeded on that? But his popularity declined sharply in the Northern States when he supported the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which nullified the Missouri Compromise But uh, after all of this, he was pretty much abandoned by uh, the party, by his uh, political party, and did not receive uh, a nomination for a second term. At that point, he just uh, moved back up here to New Hampshire, became a heavy drinker, and, and died of cirrhosis of the liver. Historians and scholars generally rank Pierce as one of the worst and least memorable United States presidents. So let's get a good shot of this monument. We're here at Old North Cemetery in Concord. Now this is in a uh, gated off section of the cemetery. So let's give you a general view. Beautiful day today as we record. So, uh, that'll conclude today's vlog. Uh, you know, but someday I would love to go to the grave sites of all the U.S. presidents, so whether they were liked, hated, uh, loved, and loved or not, just to say that uh, I've been here because they're all history, folks. All right. So, uh, with all that being said, uh, this is Jason, and I will see you on the next vlog. Bye.